Forget about Bigfoot and UFOs. Today we're diving into something even more elusive and way more real. The F1 car so insanely fast it got partially banned. We're not just talking about winning races here, we're talking about breaking the rule book, messing with physics, and making the sports governing body go, whoa, hold up. They unleash a beast so dominant that the competition might as well be riding lawnmowers. And in 2020, that beast was silver with a secret so clever, it made everyone else look like amateurs. Enter the Mercedes-AMG F1W11 EQ Performance, the fastest F1 car ever made, and the game-changing, borderline scandalous trick that made it unbeatable. Ready to peek behind the curtain of F1 wizardry? Trust me, once you see it, you'll never unsee it, and you'll understand why it had to go. Now, before we even whisper its forbidden name, let's talk about the absolute reign of terror this car unleashed. The year was 2020. The world was, well, let's just say, interesting. But amidst the global chaos, one thing was terrifyingly predictable, the Mercedes W11. This wasn't just a fast car. This was a force of nature wrapped in carbon fiber. It didn't just win races, it conquered them. Imagine showing up to a go-kart track with a rocket-powered spaceship. That's essentially what Mercedes did. While other teams were painstakingly shaving milliseconds off their lap times, the W11 was throwing seconds away like they were going out of fashion. It secured 13 wins out of a possible 17 races that season, which, if you're counting, is like winning every single game in a football season and then skipping the playoffs because it's just that easy. They bagged 15 pole positions, often setting qualifying times that were genuinely baffling, sometimes a second or more faster than their closest rivals. Think about that. A second in F1 is an eternity. It's the difference between champagne on the podium and an angry debrief in the garage. Lewis Hamilton, wielding the silver bullet, cruised to his record-equaling seventh world championship with almost comedic ease, often leaving the rest of the grid wondering if they'd accidentally shown up to a Formula 2 race. The W11 wasn't just dominant, it was an existential crisis for every other team. They poured over telemetry, scratched their heads, and probably stayed up many a night wondering, how are they doing that? Was it a hidden rocket booster? A direct mind link to the F1 gods? Nope. It was something far more subtle yet utterly brilliant. It was called DAS, which stands for Dual Axis Steering. Simple, elegant, boring. But on the Mercedes W11, Lewis and Valtteri could do something else. They could push and pull the steering wheel towards or away from them while driving. Imagine your steering wheel had a tiny little telescoping function. Push it in, pull it out. Doesn't sound like much, right? Wrong. This wasn't for driver comfort. This was for pure, absolute rule-bending speed. When the drivers pushed the wheel, the front wheels would subtly toe out. Think of it like this. If your shoes are pointing perfectly straight ahead, that's normal. Toe out means the very front of your tires would point slightly away from each other. When they pulled the wheel back, the wheels would return to their original toe-in or neutral position. 